Hi, I'm Jesse at StroPro.com and today I'm going to show you the StroPro background kit. So every background kit is going to come in a bag like this. It's really handy for traveling around and it's nice and compact too so you can throw it in your car. So inside the actual kit you're going to have two stands and a four-piece crossbar pole. Now these stands here are our 10 foot air cushion stands. This is a heavy duty stand. It's the same stand um, that you can buy separately as well. So you've got two of those guys and then you're gonna have four two and a half foot section poles here. And this is gonna make up the background pole that you're gonna feed the backdrop on. So the first thing we want to do when we're setting up the stand is determine how wide we want it. Each section is two and a half feet wide. So you have to have at least two together, um, but you can go three or four depending on your room size. Today we're just going to set up three. So you want to take a look at each end. So you're going to have a spring loaded clamp on one side here and then the other two poles that you find are going to have a hole like this. This is to attach to the light stand. So we need to make sure that these guys here are always the end pieces. And there's only two pieces that have that opening. So you'll be sure to know, keep those guys on the end. So all we're gonna do then is we're gonna find our end piece. And then this clip here is gonna correspond with the hole. So you're just gonna line it up and then push the button down it's going to slide across and then lock in. So then it's firm. It's not going to come out anywhere. To take it out, same thing, push that down and then pull it out. It'll disconnect. So there's one section. Now we want to make sure that we're, we're going with three here. So I've got the two end pieces. We could add in the middle piece here. So again, line that up, push it in. It's locked. Same thing on the other end here. Line it up. Push in the button and it's locked in. And that makes a really strong joint. The reason why we use a connecting pole like this rather than a telescoping is just because it's so much stronger. You're going to get no bend in here. You can run a nine foot roll of paper. You can run heavy material on it. With the telescoping, what happens is each section gets skinnier and skinnier, so it's going to kind of bend in the middle. But this one, you can see it's not going to bend anywhere. So now we've got the pole uh, assembled to the length that we want for today. We're going to put it on the stands now. Okay, now we're ready to put the first stand together. So the stand, when it comes out of the bag, is going to have the spigot to the side. We're going to have to change that for the background stand here. To set the stand up, loosen the screw. The legs are going to come out like this and you want to make sure that these are basically flat. You don't want them, you know, up like this. You're going to have your widest base when the arms are flat here and that's going to be the most stable. So we've locked that in. Now what we have to do is take the spigot. So we're going to take out the top screw here. The spigot has two ends on it, a three eighths and a quarter inch. We're going to take off this thumb screw here. So just unscrew that. And we want to make sure that the quarter inch is facing up. So before it was mounted like this, we're going to put it in vertically. And then we just tighten it down. Now this quarter inch thread is important because we're going to be able to screw this thumb screw back on once we put the crossbar on. So let's add the crossbar now. So previously we talked about how important it was to have the hole in the end. That's because this needs to attach to the stand. The way that we do that, just simply put it over top of the spigot like that. You're going to have a little bit of thread that shows through. Then we take the thumb screw and just fasten it right on there. Once that's on, we just go to the other side and do the exact same thing. So we've got one side of the pole attached to the stand. Now we just need to go to the other side and add this one. 
This is the point where you're going to want to make sure you put your backdrop, whether it's fabric or a roll of paper, you're going to slide that on. All of the Strobe Pro backdrops have a rod pocket sewn in. So just feed them onto the backdrop now, and then we're going to attach the other side. So again, make sure the spigot is facing up and we've got the quarter inch side up. We're just going to take the pole again, drop it on and attach the thumb screw. Now we're completely ready to send the backdrop up to the height. Now you've got 10 feet total available. Um, most people's rooms aren't 10 feet tall. Um, so you can just choose however high you want to send it. When we're assembling the stand by ourselves and sending it up to height, there's a certain way that we want to do that. If you send the bottom section up first, you'll never be able to reach the top because this thing will go 10 feet tall if you want it to. So the way we do this by yourself, loosen the top screw first, and then you're just going to take a section about a foot, a foot and a half, lock it in. Then we're going to move over to the other side, do the same thing. Okay. So we can go a little bit higher on this one and you're just going to keep going back and forth like this until we send it to height. Now this one's at full extension. Get the other one at full extension here as well. Lock it in. Now we can start at the next section. Same thing up until the stand starts to tilt a little bit and then go level it off on the other side. This way you kind of know that you're at the same height as well. So from there, our background stand is set up. We're ready to shoot. Um, when you're taking it down, same process applies, go side to side. If you're in an event where a lot of people are walking around, some people do photo booths or trade shows, it's a good idea, maybe throw a sandbag on your stand. You just want to be careful that someone's not going to trip and knock the whole thing down for you as well. One of the really nice things about the Strobe Pro background stand is that it uses heavy duty air cushion light stands. This is not a stand that you're going to find on eBay or Amazon that's flimsy and weak. This thing is strong. It's built to be used. It's built to take a heavy load on it as well. So the way the air cushioning works, when you've got like a heavy roll of paper on there, when you bring this down, there's an air dampener in it. So most stands you would loosen the screw and it would just come crashing down. This has a dampener which resists the force coming down. So it's going to protect your hands. It's a little bit safer as well. And so to take it down, you just do the opposite of what you did to set it up. So do the top section first. It'll start to bring itself down. I don't have a load on here right now, so it's not coming down as quickly, but we can just loosen that. It's coming. Loosen the other side. And we're back to the ground here. So that's just how easy it is to assemble the Stro Pro background stand. Check it out online. You can find backdrops, both fabric and paper on the website as well. Mm -hmm.